Thanks so much. It's further ammunition for the Ron Paul campaign. President Obama may ask for another increase in the debt ceiling in just a matter of a couple of days. With us now to discuss his plans to restore liberty, Texas Congressman Ron Paul. Congressman Paul, welcome here. Welcome back to uh, Freedom Watch. We, we have been listening almost all day to Thank your you. colleague, Senator Jim DeMint. You probably just heard us discussing this uh, with former South Carolina right. Governor uh, Mark Sanford. Congress, uh, Senator DeMint's argument is that you have um, brought the debate to the point where it should be, that the debate should be over just how small the government can be, just how the government can and should stay within the confines of the Constitution. And there's no room in the Republican Party for the big government Republicans who once were here. Boy, if he means that, I guess he's going to vote for you next Saturday. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe he will, because I certainly talk his language and he speaks my language. But, you know, he, he has given me a very nice compliment because it has been one of my goals to get the debate shifted. Shifted away from two power struggles on how to use government power and spending money. And that's why people are so disgusted. You have Republican big government people versus Democratic big government people. So I think the debate has to be those who call themselves fiscal conservatives, but reject the notions of very limited government and the Constitution. And I think we've driven that debate away from, you know, to get a broader field. You know, they keep talking about compromise to get more Republicans in. I think you can need to get coalitions built and you need to bring people in by sticking on principle. And I think that's what he's talking about. Can you go toe to toe with Mitt Romney in South Carolina and Florida uh, and then uh, a month and a half later on Super Tuesday? Well, I, I would hope so, because I think I've heard all those cliches for so long. And uh, right now, even with some of the polling shows that I do quite well, probably e equal to what Mitt Romney's doing against Obama. But I think my ideas are clear and I don't have to mince the words. You know, I can I, I, I know what we should should stand for. So I don't have to be flip flopping around or trying to uh, satisfy one group versus another group. You You've known me long enough that I come from it from a very constitutional perspective right. and a very free market perspective and a principle stand for the right of individuals to run their lives and uh, spend their own money. Do, do you think that it will be you against Mitt Romney, uh, that Rick Santorum and Rick Perry and uh, Newt Gingrich, each of whom is willing uh, to borrow money, each of whom has an odd take on the role of capitalism uh, in our lives? And by the way, Thank you for defending Mitt Romney on the issue for which Newt Gingrich attacked him. It was you who was being the pure defender of the free market there. But do you think there is enough uh, of you in the Republican Party uh, to bring you against Romney alone and that the others really are vulnerable because they are basically just big government Republicans? What Senator DeMint says we don't need anymore. Well, if you'd have asked me that six months ago, and uh, I would have probably had to answer, you know, not a very good chance. There was always a chance you're on there and you're trying to pre present your viewpoints. But I think the sentiment has changed. I mean, just since uh, since New Hampshire, you know, we picked up quite a few points in South Carolina. So so people shift their opinions and getting on the national stage makes a difference. So there certainly is that opportunity. But to uh, deny the fact that Mitt Romney has a pretty strong lead, he has a lot of money, uh, it makes it pretty tough and every once in a while you know some of those other media outlets aren't exactly friendly toward me are so those other no, media, it's a long road to hoe. are those other media outlets still ignoring you or are you getting your fair share of exposure well, I, I think I am, but some of it is, uh, you know, directed a certain fashion, and they say, "See, we're tell we're talking about you now," but I think they distort what I'm saying. But no, I, I don't have that much complaint. I'll let a lot of my supporters do the complaining. But yeah, we're getting more attention. There's no doubt about it. How can they have me come in uh, on a strong uh, second place in New Hampshire right. and not talk to me? So right. I think I think we definitely are doing better. I don't think I'm going to have uh, only 89 seconds at the next debate. To tell you All the right. truth, I think those days are past. We'll be watching. Congressman Paul, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All the attention